I want to thank everybody uh, for coming out today. And that panel is very informative. Uh, so thank you. And uh, hopefully we, uh, we change some more minds. Um, so these things are really uh, hard to put together. Uh, I don't know if you guys have put together events. Uh, I spent eight years putting together certain events and you always worry about how the turnout's gonna be and the logistics of things. And from everything from you know the audio and visual to deciding on what flavor of cream cheese you wanna bring. And, and this takes a team effort and I want to just bring up and recognize the team that put this event together. An impressive group of people with really good intentions. So everybody give them a round of applause. We'd like to recognize Addie Olvera. Addie, please stand up. All right, good. Steve, wave at us. Dale, wave. And my fellow Bernie delegate from CD11, Eric Reynolds. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks so much. And listen, let's thank Bob again and Manny for being our great MCs. There, there's no better way to thank these people than going to nvrtf.org and donating to the cause because it's going to take a team effort to get change done. And without this, we wouldn't have had that panel and we wouldn't have got the information to the assembly person. And we can change minds as long as we put boots on the ground and people in seats to hear this kind of you know, message. And sign up to volunteer. Get your teenagers to come and join too. I mean, I, I just want to thank everybody that's here because um, after last year and seeing this movement just, you know, working, it's just, just tremendous. And uh, so thanks to everybody that's here. And, um, I think this should be everybody's rule. Uh, most inspiring thing that happened to me was when my granddaughter this past election was a poll worker, a volunteer. And our county actually went to the schools and, you know, put out the word to seniors. They'd get credit and get paid like any other poll volunteer. And um, that should be a normal course of uh, education, part of a high school graduation. And not just doing it once, participating in the counting and every other bit. If every citizen had to do that, you know, would or would do it, you know, take back the vote means sometimes having given it away, now you're taking it back. And Allison deserves all kinds of praise for the hard work of figuring out, like we mentioned, um, what, how much cream cheese to get and everything. Just all uh, power to you, dear. I just want to thank you guys. have been really kind. And yeah, it was a lot of work, but I'm happy to do it. And I'm happy to do it again. And I appreciate you all being here and supporting us. Thanks. Is this a talking stick? Uh, I just want to thank you all for all your help and cooperation. This was a, a real group effort, and uh, we worked together in spite of occasional little glitches, but uh, we, we cooperated, and I think this was a great job, and I am so pleased that Assemblymember Quirk came and that we may be able to shift things, work with him. Maybe he might even withdraw this. We'll see. We'll hope for the best. And folks, um, in any movement, you have to have a mentor. <laughs> you have to have a Yoda. You have to have a brainiac who can bring all of the best minds, disciplined minds together to sit at the table and hash out a vision forward. Here in California, we have a vision that we're going to change 58 county chaos into standard operating procedure that every voter in the state of California can depend on and can, can depend that their vote will be counted as cast. Folks, 
please give it up for our mentor of the election integrity movement, Mr. Jim Soper. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, there, we're not done yet. We have a great afternoon coming up, which is focusing on, on solutions of how to do better. So after lunch, come back, because you're going to want to hear from Dr. Stark and John Brakey and a whole bunch of people. We also should give a shout out to all the people who donated or are donating to make this happen. This costs thousands of dollars, not many, but we were worried, but it looks like we'll make it. And this includes um, to Trust Vote and Lori Grace, thank you. <laughs> to Mimi Kennedy, to the, uh, the church that helped get this going, especially to Richard who spent many days negotiating so that we could get this hall at a discount. Yes, Deborah for her help. And uh, Chandra and Bob Fries made large donation. There's a lot of other people made donations, but we could not do this with all the, without all of those contributions. So we want to thank all of you for that. And then I think we will now have Emily coming up and giving, she's been at this longer than I have. Um, or do you want to? So folks, there's two sides of the election integrity movement. There are our esteemed disciplined minds, our academics, who are doing the hard work of gathering the factual data, scouring over that factual data to bring us these morsels of truth that show that something is wrong with our elections. Then there's another side, folks, and this is what we're inviting you to be part of, and that is election integrity activists. Our job is to take these morsels of truth back to our friends and family, back to our communities, and help our fellow countrymen erect their backbones and demand election integrity. Folks, it is with great, great honor for me to again introduce Emily Levy, who has been at this election integrity activism for a long time, folks. And I am so happy that we are finally seeing the fruits of her labor come forth. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you. That was way more credit than I, I, would, I would give myself. But... Um, what I want to speak about, and I only have about five minutes, but what I want to speak to you about is if you're not a statistician or a computer geek or a legislator or um, a security expert, how can you get involved? And I want to use myself as a little story here. Um, when the 2004 election presidential election was happening, I felt really worried about what was going to happen. I felt worried that the election was going to be stolen. And I ended up volunteering with what was then called the Election Protection Coalition, which is the group that's now evolved into having the hotline of 866-hour eight, vote that you may know about. Um, and I went down to New Mexico and worked in their statewide office just for a few days before and leading up to the 2004 election. And I felt like from there I really watched the election get stolen right out from under us. And I came back and I said, I need to do something about this and I have no idea what to do. Have any of you ever felt that way? Really, only four or five of you, seriously? Tell me the truth, thank you. Okay, and a little while later a friend of mine called me up and she said, I just heard this guy on the radio, he, He's some kind of statistician and he's doing a precinct by precinct analysis of what happened in Ohio in the presidential election vote. Maybe he needs some help. He gave his phone number, why don't you call him up? And I thought, well, he's some big muckety muck. He's never gonna respond to me. But I called him up and, about, and his name was Richard Hayes Phillips. And about a few minutes later he called me back and he said, 
Yes, I absolutely need some help. Can you, I, I can do the statistical analysis, but I don't know how to get the information from the counties. I need people to help. I don't know how to get people to help. I don't know how to coordinate them. Can you do that? Well, I'm a mom. I know how to coordinate shit. <laughs> and I had also done some other coordination problems, but really, I mean, if you can get your kids to school on time and occasionally feed them dinner, you know how to coordinate shit, okay? So I ended up coordinating his project, our project, um, which, which did a precinct level investigation into the theft of the presidential election in Ohio, which was the state that decided the election in 2004, that resulted in a challenge to the seating of Ohio's electors in Congress in January of 2005, which unfortunately didn't pass, but um, it's all a long story. And from there, I went on to work with other organizations throughout the country working on our elections, and I've done a bunch of projects since then. And the skills that I've used are skills that many of you have. So things like writing emails, posting on social media, those weren't what I was doing back then because we didn't have social media then. Talking to people, educating people. I remember, you know, this seems really complicated, but I remember in the 2006 elections, my now young adult daughter was in third grade and we were on the way to school one morning and she said to me, who do you think is gonna win? And I said, well, we aren't really going to know who wins because the computers are counting the votes. And she said, unless we have exit polls, it's, it is possible to explain this stuff so that people can understand. And so I want each of you who want to be involved and are looking for a way, those of you on the live stream and those of you here, and I really honor you for paying attention because I know this stuff is hard to understand. It's complicated. It's in the weeds. Um, and it's hugely important. I want you to think about what skills do you have that you would enjoy using for this? And um, come talk to me and we'll find out, we'll find a way for you to use that. So now, if you're on the live stream, I'm gonna invite you. I have a business that's separate from this. It's a consulting business and it has a Facebook page you can message me through even if you're not my Facebook friend. So if you're watching this on Facebook, you can go to facebook.com slash Emily Levy, L-E-V-Y, and you can message me through there. Um, and if you're here today, I actually need to be gone for part of the afternoon, but I'll be back by the end, and I would love to talk with you and help you plug in to how you can be involved. If you're local, for sure, the Voting Rights Task Force, um, and if you're not local, let's find you a project to, to connect to. Thanks very much.